hi everyone hi daisies hi everyone thank you for coming back to my channel um if you are new here please like subscribe and hit the notification button on my channel um so you can get my updated videos my vlogs my random posts um and if god wants me to speak i will speak um i'm just now starting to do this where um i try to say what god has told me to say or you know, I get the unction to speak on things that has been happening um, in the world from what I've seen and what God has been speaking to me on. Um, I had a video um, that I posted, I want to say a month ago, about the end time. Well, I don't know if it was the end time, but it seemed to me the end time where everyone is in a panic. And my dream where I stated that um, we needed to stock up and... I had nothing. I wasn't prepared. I was not ready. We're not ready. I just kept saying that in the dream. We're not ready. That's going to be like a food storage, food shortage coming. And, um, and I got a lot of feedback from that video. Um, I will link the, the link to that video below, but I got a lot of feedback from that video and I didn't realize how many people actually dreamed or had dreams similar to my dream. I really did not know. Um, and a lot of people, you know, confirming, saying that, you know, um, they've had that dream recently. They've had that dream months ago, you know, and it came to me, God gave me that dream and I was not aware. So of course God had to put me on too. Um, and I wanted to talk about just like my dream life. I don't know if anybody also have, you know, weird dreams or dreams that they're not really understanding or not fully connecting it to the reality. Um, I could say that I used to dream a lot as a child and it's starting to happen even more now, but I would dream a lot as a child. And um, one of my dreams that I remember was what I thought was rapture. What I know now was rapture, but back then I was just thinking it was a dream that everyone was floating in the air. We all were rising. So I remember just probably that piece of the dream when um, I was going to my backyard and I saw people rising to the sky, rising, just saw thousands of people were rising. And I'm looking like, wait, I hope they don't leave me behind. I'm like, Jesus, don't leave me. I probably was maybe seven years old, seven or eight years old. So I just kept saying, Jesus, don't leave me. Jesus, don't leave me. And I began to rise. And um, that's pretty much what I remember from the dream. I began to rise and I saw everybody rising and the dream just stopped from what I remember now. I can't remember the rest of it. But I know I was so concerned. I was so concerned. And um, my church didn't preach much about, you know, um, in times or the end of the world or stuff like that or you know our spirit rising out it was you know jesus loved the little children and you know stuff that children would know but me i wanted to always know more i was always curious about more i remember i remember going to the bathroom and i as a kid probably like 12 and i was asking god why am i here who are, who am i why am i here why is the world here why is the world created like i'm literally talking to god and was like god are you real well who made you like i was thinking in a sense of i, w I was thinking more like i was thinking like an adult like what adults would think like why why am i created what am i you know what am i on earth for what is my purpose? And I was never told to go into the Bible and learn about it. I was never told to, you will find your answer in the Bible. It was always cookies and cake when it came to, um, by Christianity, according to how my mom, well, the church that I've been to is a Baptist church. And it was just a meek, quiet Baptist church. Um, that Holy Ghost filled. Well, I didn't know the Holy Ghost at that time. Um, and, um, it was just, you know, powdery, you know, light. It was never anything, you know, you curse, that's a sin. You better not curse or, you know, and then, and also I love my mom, but she made sure that we, me and my brother and my cousins, um, we always watch the TBN, Trinity Broadcasting Network. We have to watch it every day. We will be watching probably something, um, ducktails or something and she'll come up and say uh, uh no turn it 
and it would never edify us. It would never fill us, but we never forgot what we were learning from it. We were, you know, we were I, like right now, I can remember some things. I remember T.D. Jakes. I remember Hagee, Pastor Hagee. I remember some of the people that preached on those stations because my mom made us watch it, but then we would disengage and then we would reengage because we were kids. Um, and then as we got older, you know, we, um, we knew God and we were still in the church and I believe I was baptized at 14, 14 years old. Um, only because there was a class and my mom said we had to do the class. <laughs> so, um, again, we really didn't have much choice on our um, relationship with God because we did know God, but we didn't have a relationship. Like we didn't have a relationship how I have a relationship now. Um, but my mom, I could say I honor her and I thank her because she did train us up in the way that we should go because my brother is de deeply in um, in a relationship with God. He speaks to God. God speaks to him and he does serve in the church that I was in. I'm no longer in that church because I moved to a different city, but um, he does serve in that ministry. So my mom, fruit did not her you know she did not labor in vain i would say um and god really held us because there were so many times that me and my brother and my cousins should have been dead supposed to be dead you know the enemy had an assignment for our lives so um the enemy had an assignment to truly destroy us so i know now that my um destiny is greater my calling is greater you know many are called but a few are chosen and i'm praying to god that i might be one of those chosen people I, i'm speaking life and i'm saying i'm one of those chosen people i know it um also growing up for me um i would see things a lot and i know children they can tap into the realm of the spirit um at a young age but i was still seeing things at 12 14 15 16 18 um, high school, I mean, high school, no, not high school, college, but I never really, again, never really indulged and never really knew that that was the Holy Spirit calming me or teaching me. I never, never connected it. Never, 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 never. Um, so I would get like open visions all the time and I would laugh when I would watch the show. That's a Raven because Raven would just look to the left and then she would go into a vision and then come back in. I would get that all the time. And my friends or family would be like, Ermy, Ermy. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here. Or you know how you just veer off into space? I would always do that all the time. Just veer off into space and then start thinking of something or something comes to my mind. And then literally that next week, that thing happened. Or a few days later, it happened. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm having deja vu. Oh my God, deja vu. Uh, that's when I learned deja vu, already seen. Um, and I would freak out all the time i'm like i just i just saw this or if i see somebody i'm like i know you from somewhere i know you i know you i know you i've now learned that it's when you're it, <laughs> i think my spirit probably saw that person and made me now believe that um i knew that person from somewhere yeah well it was let me cover this up my bra show on jesus it was um my spirit that already seen that person ahead of time or a vision that I've had or a dream that I've had of someone and I will see them again. And I'm like, that's deja vu, but still never connected it to Jesus, never connected it to God. I have never connected it at all. It was like Groundhog Day, like the movie Groundhog Day, wake up and eat. And that was my dreams as well. I wake up, my dreams are like Groundhog Day, Groundhog's Day. I will wake up from the dream and then I will fall back to sleep. And at a young age as well, in my teens, go back to sleep and I will continue that dream. Never never thought that, that God was trying to show me something. Never thought that God was trying to um, reveal things to me. I would just go back to sleep and I'm like, why well, I keep having this dream? I keep having this dream. And it's like I'm continuing the dream, like I'm finishing off where I left off the night before. Or I would dream the dream again. And I would dream the dream again. And I would dream. It was always, it always been like that. I remember once my uncle died. I didn't know he died. I was in college. And um, I had a dream that he came. I didn't even know it was him. I had a dream that a man came to my house, my apartment, three days in a row. And he had the hat like the guy that was on um, Poultry Dice. The old white guy that had the hat, the brim hat, the fedora hat. Well, 
I that was my that was the scariest movie ever to me. I don't I can't believe I watched it as a child, but that was the most scariest movie ever. Like scarier than Nightmare on Elm Street for me. And um, I would see his silhouette come to the door, and I would run. I would not answer it. And this is in my dream for three days in a row. Three days in a row. I want to say this was in two thousand two, two thousand one. 2002 or 2001 I believe my uncle passed away so the third day um he came and my roommates were like um Ermie this guy keep coming here keeps asking for you he keeps coming here and I was like okay they were like yeah he keep asking for you so I go to the door and it was my uncle and I'm like oh well hey and he says you know I wanted to see you before I go and you know how is school like talking to me like a normal you know and I'm like okay everything's great um you know what do you like what are you doing here you know and he's just like i just want to see you see how you're doing i'm like okay and um later that day uh, my family called me and told me that he passed away and that was like oh what kind of why would i dream like that was uh, kind of still to this day it's still kind of puzzling you know he came to me in the dream and it makes me wonder you know if he truly did come to me in a dream. Hmm. Have you guys ever had anyone come to you that passed away in a dream? Their spirit come to you and say their goodbyes or anything like that? Have you ever had that happen to you before? Leave a comment. Let me know. Because that's still, I'm still kind of puzzled about that. I'm going to have to talk to talk to God about that as far as my um dream. Recently, I've been having lucid dreams. I didn't know what lucid dreams meant. I didn't know what it was. And um, it's, I'm learning that it's a way that I can control what's been happening in my dreams. I can control the scenery in my dream. Or I can control speaking to people. Um, a few days ago, I dreamt that I was in like a, a condo or a townhome. And my best friend and a friend of hers was on the couch. And they had lots of gifts. And I saw my goddaughter's sister who was skateboarding. Then I saw two little boys um, from the past that I knew. They were at, they were small, like when I knew them from, you know, I want to say maybe eight years ago. And um, I was just like setting up the place, but I had so many things, so many gifts. My friends just poured out gifts on me. Um, it was just so many things. And I was trying to organize the, the house and it was just, but the way I saw those people was like glimpse, 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 glimpse. I was moving so fast. I was moving so fast. And I woke up from the dream. Still don't understand the dream. My sister was telling me how, you know, the thing is, Ermi, I think that in the spirit realm, you move so fast, you move so fast and you only take pieces of what you see. So you need to try to slow down what you see, take over the dream and see what you can pull from the dream. Stop and tell yourself in the dream, stop, slow down. Look what you're looking at. Turn around this way. Focus on that. Don't worry about that. This is important. That's not important. You know, for me to start doing that. So I, I said that I will actually take that into consideration because I think that it's so much being shown to me and I just can't, I just can't, um, get a grasp of what it's been shown to me. I just, it's so much and it's making me feel more confused and bombarded and, um, and I'm like, oh my God, what if something's going to happen to, you know, my goddaughter's sister or what is something happening to my, is my, my best friend bringing me gifts or she's, you know, coming into a windfall that she's going to bless me too. Like <laughs> nugget, Jesus. It's okay. She can, <laughs> she can bless me. <laughs> nugget. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just that the, the dreams I've, I've come to the realization that I, can actually probably control it a little bit to get a, to focus better in the dreams um, and not to be so um, disappointed when I wake up like, what, what was that? Or even um, I've been praying for God to help me interpret what I've been dreaming. I, I don't understand it. So I'm asking for that interpretation. So I have to keep going to people and ask them, so what you think this mean? So I had a dream about that. What well, I want to be the one to hear from the Holy Spirit and say, this is what this is about. Focus on this person. Pray for that person. Um, just pray. You know, don't even speak about what you what I'm showing you. Just pray for that person. So I want to be careful when I speak on the dreams and um, give it to you guys because I don't know, you know, if that's something that God wants me to speak. 
um, the prophetic dream, I know God wanted me to speak on that because I got the unction so many times to speak on it. And I'm, I allow a month go by before I even spoke about it. So, um, and when I had that dream, so many people, like I said, so many people were coming to me and telling me that they've seen similar, um, people were having similar dreams to my dream and I am spot on with the dream. You know, now that I think about it, when I posted that, um, someone came on there, which I thought it was a troll. I thought it was somebody was trolling me and they wrote EMP and I'm like, imp he's calling me an imp what is emp what is that and i felt the holy spirit say google it and so i went <laughs> as i'm thinking what's imp and i'm talking to my babe and i'm like m and as i'm reading it i'm like imp electromagnetic pulse and somebody made a story in February of this year about an electromagnetic pulse, electromagnetic pulse that once it get generated, um, it can pretty much kill millions of people with one, um, I don't know, one blow, one strike, one activation, one pulse. I mean, I don't know. And I was in such a shock. I was in, I was so shocked when I read that, and I was, I had goosebumps, and I was like, babe. Did you just hear what I just read? I just read this out loud. And um, so pretty much him writing that, the guy that wrote that, I want to thank you for writing that because it made me go and research and dig more. Um, and it made me think, oh my God, is that what I actually saw in my dream? These electromagnetic pulses created to happen, to kill all, you know, to kill hundreds of thousands of people or millions of people. <sighs> I don't know, guys, but we need to store up. We need to store up. And the guy actually gave me other books. Like he started giving me other books. And I actually went on his page to see who he was. Like, who is he? Because, you know, trolls usually don't have a lot of um, subscribers and a lot of people or a lot of comments or whatever. And he didn't have much on his page, but he did have enough. Um, he told me he created a page for his, his children. And um, each video was like a story about something from the Bible, um, Esther or you know, Peter, like it just, and it's him teaching. And I like, I had to follow him. I was like, wow, I really can appreciate this. And he actually offered me to look at um, a few books, which I'll post also below um, to read. I mean, reading is fundamental and most knowledge is in the book. So, so um, I brought my computer up so I can bring up the Bible verse that I was reading about. And it says um, in Acts 2 verse 17, um, where they discussed where we will see visions. It says, in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. So, um, that was, that was something that made me believe that, okay, God, you are talking to us. You are talking to me. Um, and you have said that we will prophesy. You said it in so many other verses as well, but this one caught me the most, um, that we will see, you know, the signs. We will see um, where a lot of people will begin to prophesy some of the same things. So I know that it's in, you know, um, it's in alignment with what you're saying. It's confirmation with what you're saying. Um, And it shows also where it says, God says, God spoke and continues to speak clearly in his word, the Bible, infallible, inerrant, and inspired by the Holy Spirit through 40 different authors. While we sit, while we still need the Holy Spirit to eliminate exact interpretations, there is no clearer way to hear God speak. And him saying that he will pour out his spirit on all people, the Holy Spirit was active from the very beginning of creation and often appears in the Old Testament to empower prophets, judges, kings, and warriors to do the work of God. Jesus promised the disciples of the Spirit would come to counsel, convict, empower, and comfort the church after he had descended to the Father. This began the um, Pentecost and continued whenever anyone is born again. So you guys, um, I pray that you guys become born again. Um, the gift comes without repentance. So, you know, a lot of people have the prophetic gift and they don't realize that they do. I didn't know I had the gift. Um, 
God grace me with this gift. So many people have told me that I have the gift, but I didn't believe it. A lot of people keep saying you're a, a revelation prophetess. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I hear you, but whatever, whatever that means. And now I'm like, okay, no, God, you really are making me see things. You really are speaking things in my ear. You really show me things. And then five seconds later, that thing happened. That got to be you. I'm, it's not too many other ways you need to let me know it's you. I, I, I hear you now, God. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Now, let me walk in what you tell me to do. Let me go ahead and do it and not be disobedient. So, guys, work with me. Um... I'm going to still do my vlogs and my family vlogs, but I also will speak as God lead me to speak. If he tells me to get on here and speak to someone, I will. To encourage someone, I will. To speak to a broken heart, I will. To somebody that's going through a divorce, I will. To someone that's having um, a breakdown moment of, or an anxiety moment, an anxiety attack, I will. Um, sometimes people, not they don't know who to speak to, and so... YouTube is a platform that somebody created and yes, we will take over that platform and do the will of God on that platform. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because I feel the Holy Spirit on me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to end this vlog right now. I'm going to go ahead and pray for some people um, so God can continue to, you know, so laborers. Can be raised up because the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few so i will go into prayer um, for many people to tap into their gift for many people to help serve and for many people to seek god like never before so i thank you guys for watching my channel god bless you um god covers you and i know that god is real thank you for watching